In this video, I'm going to share the baking shift in the bakery. We will see the journey from proofed to later baked and glazed pastries. Firstly, we are taking prepared almond croissants and hazelnut pound chocolat, which we prepared earlier today. We're gonna start baking almond croissants. Oh my gosh, the music is so loud. We're gonna start with baking almond croissants. Since they don't require any extra preparation, we are filling the oven straight away. Plus, adding prepared baked tarts together. Setting the timer and heading to check our proofers. First on the list, pound a raisin and focaccia, as they are proofed enough. They will go to the oven straight away after we prepare them. Okay, so this is a good example when pastries are not ready yet. They look, even though they look quite big, we're still gonna proof them longer, but while we wait, we will bake the rest of this, what you see here. Now we are preparing uh, pounder raisins to bake, but before that we brush with egg wash, which is this liquid. Basically it is blitzed eggs with a pinch of salt. And it's always nice to work with the music on the background. Actually this place is never in silence. And this one, uh, Queen Amans, well, like very puffy, very ready to bake. Here, we are giving a final touch for focaccia, adding some rosemary and olive oil. And finally, sprinkle some sea salt on top. In the meantime, we are slowly melting some chocolate, which will be drizzled over baked hazelnut pound chocolate. Here, the oven is done baking uh, almond uh, croissants, bakewells and hazelnut pound of chocolate. Since this one is done, I'm going to take them out from the oven. So we just taken out powdered chocolate, which turned actually hazelnut powdered chocolate. And here's almond croissants. And the oven is ready, so we are taking the rest of almond croissants. One tray is 20 croissants. So 10 times 20, we have 200 almond croissants. And now, since we're done with almond croissants, we're gonna change the temperature and we will bake rosemary focaccia. Since we have the other oven free, we are putting Queen Amman and pound of raisins. Because now I'm egg washing the cinnamon and cardamom buns because they are proof. And once we bake raisins and Queen Amman, we will put them into the oven. It's always about managing your time in the kitchen because we are baking pound of raisin now and we have 16 minutes to do a donut job, which is for example now I'm brushing the cinnamon and cardamom buns. So we are putting now some sugar that is really like pearl sugar. In the blink of an eye, Queen Amman and Pound Raisins are done. Emptying the oven and without any waiting, we are putting some buns in. Once you put one thing to bake, another one is done. We leave the focaccia to cool down, but since it's hot, we give an extra touch of olive oil. Now it's croissant's turn. We're taking the first round of them on the workbench and gently egg washing each of them. When we bake a bigger amount of them, we use egg spray. Tonight, we don't make that many, so we give an extra care and love for each of them. And now again, one pastry is in, other ones out. Cinnamon and cardamom buns are done. So now we're gonna glaze the buns straight away with coffee and orange glaze. I'm going to do the same, but we're gonna glaze cinnamon buns with a cinnamon glaze. How much love goes to these buns? Do you remember the hazelnut power chocolate we baked as soon as we started the shift? An extra touch for hazelnut power chocolate. We're finishing them by drizzling the chocolate 
and topping with some roasted hazelnuts. So now we're gonna bake on a chocolate. egg washing uh, pound chocolate. They are proofed and ready to bake. Look at this army of perfectly shaped and proof pastries. I think it's really nice that every single pastry gets individual touch. When we can afford to spend a bit more time, of course. And that was our last batch of pastries for today's bake. However, we still need to finish a few things. Here we finish the pound raisin by brushing them with tea glaze. The very final thing, almond croissants. Now final touches for almond croissants. Just sifting icing sugar on top and uh, a lot icing sugar. We had to wait till they are cooled down in order to finish them. The last part of the shift, cleaning. Very fast but essential job. I wish I could share the smell of the baked pastries. On top of that, they look fantastic. Well, and I'm not going home alone. Advantages being a baker. Thank you for watching and see you next week. <laughs>